This Camaro is a little different. It's what we call a sleeper, very subtle colors, the poverty hubcaps, and under the hood is a 396, and there's a four-speed sitting between the bucket seats right there. This is a body off frame restoration, and you'll never guess where this car was sold brand new. Roswell, New Mexico. This might, might have aliens living in it. Right now, why don't you join me and let's go for a spin. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you find a price tag on every car, including a monthly finance option as well. Clean, straight, everything up here looks really nice, lines up good, fits nice, square, bodies clean, no dense damage, no bubbles, all real nice, clean, all nice, straight, clean metal. Car was built in Los Angeles, sold new in New Mexico, uh, worked its way over to Georgia, so it's always been a clean, southern, Car, quarter panel looks great. All this is clean, it has a rear spoiler. It's all nice, clean, I mean, really straight. Sail panels have no issues. All nice, all the way down to the bottom, right around the edge here, the trim. All nice, clean, straight. And that's one of those that's gonna shut real easily. Smooth, straight. Body's excellent as the SS hood. It is a real SS. Now, in 1967, the trim tag gives us a lot of information. It tells us the colors inside and out. It was born like you see it. It also tells us it was born a 396. It was born a four speed. Uh, in 68, they didn't have any of those codes on there except for the colors. So, this is a genuine uh, SS big block four speed car. Pretty darn rare in 67. Repainted its original color, Capri Cream, uh, and it's got a smooth, glossy finish. If you're like a, a real anal crazy paint guy, you'll find a little dust nibs, or here's a little touch up right here, little, little texture imperfections, but really the paint is very slick. As the SS stripe painted on around the nose, it's polished smooth and glossy. Well, that wiped off. So yeah, minor imperfections if you go looking for them, but really, overall, there's nothing to speak of. It has a spoiler in front and in back. Windshield looks new. The windshield molding is excellent. Oh, I take it back about the windshield. There's some really light surface specs on there. Door handle looks real nice. Rear window, real nice original. It's got a couple light scratches. Rear bumper, tail lights, all that's beautiful. Has the blacked out big block uh, panel, SS gas cap, all that looks beautiful. And as I was saying earlier, they call them the dog dish caps, poverty caps. So the rims are 15 inch, they're painted to match the car. The caps look new and it has BF Goodrich radial red line tires. The windows roll up and down so nice I actually, I reached in and I was rolling down the other side and I, I thought it was broke. It was spinning so easy. I thought it was broke and actually it was working. And then I looked at our service ticket. They did re-adjust uh, and lube and actually replace some parts on the windows. So they roll up in a real nice. Bow tie mirror looks new. The vent window frames beautiful. Up here, the bumper, grill, all that's in real nice shape. Even has correct T3 headlights in there. Uh, here's a little imperfection on the chrome bumper. So now that we've seen the outside, let's open it up and see what we have inside. So what do you think we're going to find in here? I bet you it's a nice clean trunk compartment. Painted real smooth, glossy, has the sticker, has a wire running up to a trunk light here. GM is painted nicely, weather strip is replaced. Inside is all clean metal with a nice spatter finish, has the mat, has a complete jack assembly, but no spare tire. So that's something you'll have to find for it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Door jams are nice and clean, painted real neatly, weather strips replaced, sill plates look real good. 
It's a factory gold interior car, door panels, armrests, window cranks, all that looks real nice. The dash area is clean and tidy. It's not broken or beat up or drilled. The dash pad looks new. It does have the factory optional tachometer. Nice clean bezels and trim and heater control panel, AM radio, uh, which I don't think works. You have the optional gauges. They do work, including the clock. And I was having trouble opening this earlier, so it's open in the pictures on our website. We'll have to check that out. Kick panel's nice. Carpets are real nice. Reproduction floor mats. Center console's real nice. And I want to point out it has the Muncie shifter, the flat bar shifter. That's original. Uh, they, a lot of guys switch them out to a Hurst. All very nice. Gold original seat belts. The upholstery's been redone. Same thing in back, real nice carpet, reproduction mats. <clears throat> the light works at the back of the console. You got, oh, you got a broken seat belt right here. Didn't realize that. Upholstery's real nice, side panels, rear shelf, all that's in great shape. Headliner's looking real good, dome light works. Visors are looking good. Original mirror. The, the mirror is a little bit clouded. Nice original steering wheel. Overall, very clean and, and tidy interior. Factory gauges, console, and a four-speed. Motor compartment's detailed up real nicely. It is a correct motor, the correct dates and codes and casting. Uh, it's a 396, 325 horsepower, all stock manifolds, uh, stock carburetor and choke. The air cleaner even has a GM hose right here. Distributor all looks stock, even has reproduction, uh, dated 1967 spark plug wires. Correct valve covers, exhaust manifolds, all the firewalls clean, GM hoses and clamps. We have a Delco battery topper with the spring clamp battery cables, radiator, shroud, pulleys, fan, all that looks like new. Does have power steering down there. It also has power brakes. Steering box is all detailed, so is the suspension. And then the tag on the firewall gives a lot more information than they do in 68 or 69. Squirters are not hooked up. I noticed the bottle's missing here, so that shouldn't be difficult. They sell their bottles. They're cheap. So there you have it. Nice, detailed, clean engine apartment. Correct big block, power steering, power brakes. Now today... I'm going to take you for a test drive, and then uh, we'll wrap it up back here in the studio. You know, I'm expecting great things from this car. We'll see if she delivers. It just feels right so far. Runs smooth. driven four cars today. All of them are manual shift. I love it. Factory cages appear to be working. Wow, even the clock is moving. Temperature gauge is coming up a little like it should. Oil pressure is good. That's the Muncie shifter, the original correct shifter. You have to be conscious of where the gears are, and if you are, and when you're used to it, it shifts no problem. But the Hurst shifter was improved. Uh, you know, it goes into gear a little easier. But again, this is fine. 
I have no problem with it. All right, we're gonna get out on Route 12 and see what it'll do. Oh, I was supposed to stop there, wasn't I? Not even a hiccup, not a cough. Clutch is smooth, shifts nice. No shakes or vibration. I mean, the car is driving nice and straight. The steering wheel's a little bit off, but uh, maybe we'll get it in for an alignment and take care of that. But the car drives straight and smooth. Yeah, feels nice. Well, it did deliver just like I thought it would. Well, back to the studio. We'll wrap this one up and then it's back to my desk where I get to sit and do boring office work. We'll see you in a minute. Underneath this car, it's also exceptionally clean. Looks like it was completely restored. Body was off the frame, steering, suspension, all that was redone. And I don't know if you know this, but in 67 only, they had a traction bar over on that side, a single square traction bar. They started off round and after a certain date, they went square, this is square, and it lines up with the date, so it is correct. And that was only on the high performance Camaro. So this one has it, just further uh, you know, information leading us to believe that this is a legit real deal car. This also has the uh, chambered exhaust system. It's like a crimped pipe dual exhaust system. That was a performance option from Chevrolet. This has it. Brakes are all redone, the lines, the cables, all that's in real nice shape. Uh, fuel system was replaced when it was restored. Uh, you look up at the motor, nice clean Chevy orange, uh, nice clean starter, has the correct Muncie M20 four speed trans, it's dated to this car. Drive shaft is rebuilt. In back, it has the 12 bolt rear end. Um, I think this was 373 gears. Uh, no, actually, I don't know what gears are in there. I drove the car and it feels like a 355, 373. Um, so yeah, 12 volt rear end, super nice dry clean metal, all painted nicely. So front to back, top to bottom, this car is a, an eight plus, um, excellent car. Go to volocars.com, the salesman can help answer whatever questions you still have, including how you get this delivered, how you get it financed. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.